so many good things happening on main streets and downtowns across the Magnolia State. So today we're highlighting what's happening downtown this weekend. It is brought to you by the Mississippi Main Street Association. So don't forget, you can always go to msmainstreet.com slash calendar to get more information on upcoming events. And Mississippi Main Street communities are offering many events for you and your family this Memorial Day weekend. We're starting out with jazz in the past with Joe. That's in past Christiane. What's happening, Joe? Hey, how you doing? I'm not going to complain today because there's lots of good things going on this weekend. What y'all got going on in Past Christian? Well, this weekend we have jazz in the past. This is the eighth year we've had it back since we started after Katrina. And we have this free concert in the park, in the city park. We have uh, four bands lined up to play this weekend. What four bands do you have um, coming to Past Christian? We have the Clinton High School Jazz Band coming out of Clinton, Mississippi, coming down to play. We have uh, Jake's Jazz Trio out of Ocean Springs. We have Julius Handy the Third, uh, his great uncle, famous jazz musician uh, Captain John Handy. And we're going to finish off with Unfazed Show and Band. So is this a free concert for the public, Joe, or is it something that we would need to think about getting tickets about? Give us sort of the rundown. No, it, it's a free concert. We will have arts and craft vendors. We will have food vendors there on site. Uh, we ask that you don't bring any glass bottles. Just come pick your cool spot underneath the shady trees and enjoy the music. So why was it so important to create an event specifically around jazz music? What's the connection to Past Christian or just the connection to those that enjoy bringing this event uh, to the area every year? Well, the, uh, the Blues Trail, and we received the Blues Trail marker in Past Christian, and it highlighted some very famous people that was born, originated in Past Christian, like Captain John Handy. Uh, Cadillac Henry, those guys that traveled the world playing music. And something in place to just honor that, keep it going. To keep it going, and I think it's grown every year, Joe, from what I hear. This is going to be one of the bigger events this weekend. How many folks usually come out and enjoy the jazz music? Last year we estimated about 2,500 people throughout the day came to the park. That's impressive, and this is at the, this is, which park is this? This is the Past Christian Memorial Park. If we're not familiar with our sort of uh, geographic, geography, should I say geographic, where, where are you guys? How would we find you? The, the park is located on Highway 90, just east of the harbor. If you're driving down Highway 90, you'll see the banners and flags out. You'll be able to see the stage from the highway. So can we, Joe, can we bring our blankets and our chairs? Can we come, like, ready for a sort of a picnic or come hungry? Can we get comfortable? What are any other the other rules or regulations around jazz in the past? People bring chairs. They bring blankets. There's benches throughout the park that you can sit on. Or Most people uh, find a nice, comfortable spot underneath one of the uh, oak trees. And I'm sure that's first come, first serve there under the under the oak trees. Is the weather looking good for you guys, or is there a chance that it may get delayed or anything with weather? You know, God loves jazz, so I don't believe we're going to have any bad weather. It's going to be a little warm, but it's gonna, we're going to have a good time. Best we'll line of the day, the Joe. <laughs> Best line of the day. I believe God loves jazz also. Joe, when did you fall in love with jazz? Oh, uh, as a young kid, I played music. I played music so much, I ended up being a DJ. I bought my own equipment. I did mobile DJ, and so I love just sitting back playing music. All righty. Well, that's going to be a good time there on Sunday. If we want to get more information, where can we go to do that, Joe? You can go to the uh, Pastor Stan Main, Main Street website, or you can Google Jazz in the Past. And it'll take you to the web page and tell you all about it. All righty. Well, God loves jazz, so you're going to have great weather this Sunday. I love that great event, and we appreciate your time. Thank you. And we're going to end the show with a firework display. Oh, well, that's the best part. I love that. At, at 8 o'clock, yes. All right, so make sure you come, you stick around, bring your blankets, let the kids see the fireworks. It's going to be a great time. So thank you, Joe. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. You too. All righty, if you're not in Past Christiane and you're looking for maybe a little art or a little contest, we got one for you in downtown Biloxi. Rachel is joining us to talk about the chalk art contest that's happening on Biloxi Main Street. Hey, Rachel. 
Hey, good afternoon. How are you guys? Not complaining, not a nerd bit, as they would say, Rachel. There's lots of good things going on this weekend for Memorial Day. I know many families are going to be headed to the Mississippi Gulf Coast to soak up some sun and sand and family time for the long weekend, and they can get in on this chalk art contest. Tell us about that. Yes, so the uh, chalk contest, the contestants are going to be high school and middle school aged. Those and then so it's free to do it they need to go online to, and sign up because we do have limited space of course they can come the day of and register but we are suggesting that people sign up beforehand and there's a link on our facebook page sidewalk saturdays they can also shoot an email to downtown biloxi ms at gmail.com so they can come in check in is at nine and then they'll get their space assignment and uh then they'll have until about twelve thirty, and then the art committee of downtown is going to be the judging there will be a winner and a runner up for both age groups high school aged kids and middle school aged kids and then ge or street which is at the corner of like or and howard avenue behind the hospital that entire street is going to be blocked off for our young artists our um school-aged and toddlers, so they can join in on the fun. They just won't be judged. And then on top of that, we're going to have all of the businesses downtown are going to be there's so many r- new restaurants downtown. There's so much development in the downtown district, and we really are wanting the people to come out and see where we're at, see where uh, all the development is coming from, see what's in our near future. We've had some pretty major projects that have finished. We've got some more major projects that are about to be finished. And just come down and make some art, make some family memories with us, and enjoy our beautiful city. You bring up a good point, Rachel. I know a lot of people go straight to the beach, which that isn't a bad thing, or maybe they go straight to some of the other um, establishments that are along the ocean uh, front. But we forget about the downtown being really where the locals go and enjoy and where you can find a lot of probably great restaurants that are not off the beaten path because it's on your main street downtown, but that maybe, you know, don't get as much a major publicity because it's not in a big casino or, you know, may not even have the wait times or even sort of the heavier price tags that come with some of those casino places or resorts. Not that those are bad, but just something different. So if this is your time of going to Biloxi, you can do something new, which is coming to downtown. So this is going to sound like a, a weird question, Rachel, but where is your downtown? Because most folks are very familiar with just being you know, on the scenic route, but how do you get to your actual main street? So there is a wonderful little walkway that's directly across the street from where the Beau Ravage is. You can walk up through um, beside Mary Mahoney's, and it has string lights above it, so it's kind of a guided path as well. Um, And then it just walks straight up. And then our district green is at the corner of Orr Street and Howard Avenue. And that's where um, you're going to find the majority of the shops is going to be along Howard Avenue and right there in the roof. So we have our hardware store that's been in business for over 100 years. You now have five boutiques. We have a wonderful record store downtown. We've got some really cool places. All the boutiques are completely different. They sell different items. And uh, we really complement each other very well. Everything down here is going to have this mom and pop vibe. And like you were just t- talking about the restaurants, we have so many great places to eat. We have some new ones that have opened up. And then, of course, we have the Blues Club here with some of the best acoustics I've ever heard. That place is fabulous. So we really are wanting people to come down and see what has been going on and the progress that has been made in the, the in recent time. We also have several murals throughout downtown. We have a map of them, so you can even go on a mini little walking tour. And we even have art in our crosswalks across the street. It's just a very different and refreshing thing to see a downtown that has been able to kind of come together and all of the progress that has been made here in the past about three years and just how all the businesses complement each other. We're all working together and we're trying really hard to do some community activities such as this sidewalk chalk contest because we really want our locals and our travelers to come out and see 
the culture and the the good things about being down here in Biloxi and we're not in the casinos are wonderful. Um, but that's not the only thing that we're all about. We have a lot to offer here and we really want to put that on full display this weekend and, um, come paint a beautiful canvas on our sidewalks and really just have some fun with these kids and let them be creative and, uh, have just some good family time. I love that, Rachel. I love that it's within walking distance. If you go to the Beau Rivage, look for the, the lights, follow the crosswalk and head yourself downtown and have yourself a good a good old time. Rachel, I appreciate your time here on Good Things and all that you guys are doing there in Biloxi. And don't forget, if you're looking for an event that's near you, you can always go to msmainstreet.com slash calendar to get more information on upcoming events and happenings. But you guys stick with us. we got more good things for you coming up next.